beautiful day in the neighborhood it is. So um, what we got going on here is a little bit of an update on the, the Freedom Fighters or the Freedom Loving Trucker Convoy. Let's call it that because we're not that, that we're fighting for freedom, but we're doing this peacefully. Well, we as in the movement that they have started that we've all joined in as support to these people. And uh, it looks like Trudeau's regime is crumbling while uh, our most legitimate and 81 million votes most free and fair process of choosing the people can't even remember what administration he's in check this out I digress just for a moment i started the cancer moonshot which i worked very hard on in the administration the administration i served in last <laughs> and um I held conferences all over the country with literally thousands of people. Still back in 08. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so, but it, still kicking. The old coot still kicking though. So thank goodness for that, I reckon. But uh, there's several other things going on. There is, uh, there is the Ottawa police chief. He resigns. He's resigned. Uh, Trudeau's lost his, some of his head key figures in his protection services. That happened last week. And uh, Mike Lindell is awesome. Mike Lindell is sending out pillows to the truckers as they are, you know, they're like, well, we're going to remove these people. Well, they've got to have some nice pillows. Don't worry. Mike Lindell is hooking them up. And then you've got, uh, this is a statement from uh, Cash Patel. And I'll tell you a little bit about him right quick. Um, he he it is involved with Trump. And he was also one, I guess, let's see here. He was a, uh, he is going to deliver an unraveling the biggest political scandal in U.S. history. And here's a little bit of a taste of what he's talking about. It's a little one second or one minute video. One second. One, one minute video. Stick it out right quick. This is real. I'll be right back. A genuine bombshell in court filings from uh, the special prosecutor, John Durham, looking into the Russia hoax. Tech executive number one and his associates exploited Internet traffic pertaining to Trump Tower the Trump apartment building in New York City, and also the executive office of the President of the United States. The President himself surveilled, had his internet comings and goings under surveillance by a private citizen. This would be worse than Watergate if it's true, and this is the allegation from a government prosecutor. I want to bring in Cash Patel, former deputy assistant to President Trump and chief of staff to the acting secretary of defense in the Trump administration. Cash, welcome to Newsmax. What do you think? Oh, wow, Greg, thanks for having me. And I don't know where to begin. Look, as the guy who unraveled the Russiagate investigation as a chief investigator during Chairman Nunes, he, he and I have been talking, we've been talking to the president. None of us thought it could get this bad. They literally, as you let off, a private entity on behalf of a political opponent, Hillary Clinton, paid for access to the entire White House compound to infiltrate the servers of not just the office of the president, the National Security Council, the National Economic Council, the Trade Council, and the office of the Vice President of the United States. 